Hello, my name is Clive Scott. This is part two of a course entitled Technical Lectures on Java and it covers operators and expressions. Uh, right, these are the operators that I'm going to cover and there are about 45 of them. It depends really what you consider is a separate operator and what isn't, so uh, it's a matter of opinion. And uh, before I do all that though, I'm going to give a quick recap of what we did last time. All right, uh, this table here, just to uh, recap, is the uh, various primitive types, uh, numeric primitive types, and their size. And uh, this tree here shows uh, what you can um, uh, widen to what automatically. So you can store a byte uh, in a float without having to worry about it uh, once you go that way up the tree, of course. Uh, right, this uh, table here is um, something which I've made up to um, show what happens when you try and store uh, a variable of one type into um, a variable of another type. So uh, if you're trying to store a long into uh, an int, what happens is it uh, gets truncated. I'm not sure if truncate is the right word by the way because it chops off the most significant and not the least significant, which is what truncate would normally do. But um, I've put truncate anyway. So that's what happens. The, um, the most significant uh, bytes, whatever get, uh, gets lost. We truncate here. Um, uh, ri dot t, that means um, round to an integer and then truncate. And um, I've made a distinction here, the, the stuff in yellow requires a cast and the stuff in green doesn't require a cast. So um, in a sense I've made a sort of distinction between uh, that which is round to nearest, so if you put a double into a float it will round it to the nearest but it requires a cast. And this thing here, where, is, where if you set a long to be, if you set a, a double to um, the value of a long, it will um, set it to the nearest nearest double value and store that. Otherwise, um, you can set it to the exact value in the case of an integer, of course, because an integer will fit into a double. Here's the other one that's um, a bit more interesting. Um, byte, uh, if you set that a char, equal to a byte then um, then the uh, it, the byte gets sign extended um, to an integer and then it gets truncated to a char okay these are just straightforward bit copies made between uh, short and char when you sign obviously uh, byte to byte doesn't require anything that's easy um, that's about it, I think, for that. Right, here's a similar thing for literals. Um, there's an optional D at the end of that because it's a, a double, considering it's a double. Um, and uh, here's what you can do and can't do for that. And uh, the important thing here is um, uh, for these cases down here, there is an implicit narrowing. And because the compiler knows about what you're trying to do if it will fit it knows if it will fit or not so it uh, if it will fit it will do it otherwise you have to do a cast if it won't fit but then what would you be doing trying to set uh, a byte to something which uh, is too big for a byte you might say that's no point in doing that which I would agree with um, okay here we have got um, Z being uh, zero extended and that's sign extended obviously um, uh, in this case, the uh, sign bit, of course, is um, is put into the other other bytes to extend it, and here the zero is put into the other bytes with zero extended. Now basically, the same as before. And of course, if it uh, if you have to cast it, it, the same casting process as in the previous table. 